Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of Battle for Astrakhazy. So today we've got to do a couple of things. Last last episode we were able to um, attack a local, a weak local lore, lore, warlord's base. Um, we took out his CNC, uh, took out the main operating center, and sort of liberated some of the population here. Now um, the remainder of this guy's forces have been um, harassing uh, locals in the countryside, uh, trying to find a way to get back and reclaim power here. So uh, we were asked to go out and help some of them. So we've sent out the Dragon's Rejects to go do that, and we'll check with them in a few minutes. We're going to send the Night Guns out to patrol the borders too, because the, the other warlords around the area um, will most likely send in probes to see if they can actually uh, take this territory away from us. So we're going to send the, uh, the night gaunts around to cut off any noses of, of uh, snooping dogs looking to uh, um, lay claim to this territory. Let, have, let, I'll let them all know that uh, we're more than capable of defending this area. So that's what we're going to do today. So let's uh, quickly drop over to the uh, where the dragon's uh, rejects are and we'll check out what they're doing. All right, here we are. So we're here to help these locals get the hell out of here. we got to hook up with them here at this position here. They've uh, loaded up their vehicles, and we're going to make it to this uh, area here where we got to uh, set up for a drop location. So we're just going to move up and uh, see if we can get these people out of here. Roger that. Now, it's going to bring the galley in this time because it's a little faster, but I think the Hetzer will be fine here. We got Yeah, we got good speed. As long as we're on the road here, we're fine. Come on, all the way up. All the way up. Here we go. There you go. Excellent. All right. Looks like we're clear. Nobody around here. The bandits might show themselves. I don't know. Better safe than sorry. Let's get up ahead. And as far as we can get with our vehicle here. There we go. All right, guys, you're safe to come out now. All righty. Should be able to do this, no problem. What we're going to do is we're going to put them at, uh, at this location to get them the hell out of here. Who is this? Why does this show up as one of my guys? I don't know. Right here. All right, looks like we've got enemies up here. Uh, what do we got? Valkyrie and a locust. I don't know what that is. All right, let's just move up. Let's stay behind the hill here. We got flare markers along the way here. Cool. Okay, let's just brace. I'm listening. Same thing, Skull. Get up in here. So we should be able to get to a position where our dropship can come down and bail these people out. Going full throttle. So we've got a third target back here now. What do we got back here? Hunter. Okay. Let's go ahead. Well, probably not going to hit with these. Let's not bother then. Just wasting ammo. He's falling back. We actually shooting any of those down? Three from ten hit, nice. Oh, here we go. What can I do for you? Don't need to tell me twice. I like this, the, the fact that we can actually control the vehicles now. Not just because, you know, we have the ability to get them out faster, um, but because we can say that, you know, hey, we were, able to su we were able to supply them some drivers, you know, and it's actually our, our you know, members of our units that are actually driving the vehicles for them. Aye, aye. 
Alright Raider, full speed. We've got to get your MRMs up here. Ready for order. Hi Taga. That Hetzer's a long way from a Tiger, but that's fine. You got the AC-20, so we're good. One more private. All right. Something I can do. Yep, we can engage is what we can do. Or can we? We gotta crest the hill here. Let's get over here. Consider it done. All right, let's apply some damage to this locust if we can. Good chances to hit. Um, gonna leave the two medium lasers off. I want to save some heat until we absolutely need it. Locked on time. Okay, we got the X pulse hitting. That's fine. That locust going next. Okay, he's gonna move up. That's good for us. I know he's just performing his scout duties, which is why he didn't shoot. What do you need? But that's gonna cost him. That's gonna cost him. Bug it out. So I think it was Fist of Dorn that mentioned the, the clustering bonus on the AC-10. I didn't real. I never even thought about that, because it's um, it fires like five shots. I I never even thought that it would be uh, uh, subject to clustering rules, but I guess it is. Which means when we actually pair it up with stuff, it should be like Core missiles, like MRMs and stuff. Yeah. Let's uh, work on removing this one guy here. He's decided to show himself, so we'll just take the uh, opportunity to get rid of him here. Okay, looks like we only hit him with one there. All right, time to fulfill fulfill this guy's death prophecy. Um, switch to improved, and here it comes. Roger that. This guy's taking it, taking it like a champ. I hear ya. Don't crest that hill just yet. Good to go. Who's left here? Oh, it's their turn. This so much it's so much more free What's up, boss? being able to, to move these guys. Well, we don't often get a chance to use the uh, the Hetzer to fire, so let's get to a position where we actually can fire. AP is 19, oh, standard is 19%. Alright, here it comes. Nope. Bet you he just shit his pants, though. Badger, he just dropped a load. Uh -huh. Alright, get up behind these guys. Gonna get you off this planet. Well, get you out of this location and back to our base. Yep. Um, let's move in, let's engage this guy. See if we can clear them out of here. Gonna leave these off for now. Bad chance to hit anyway. I don't want them jammed. How did that taste? Probably not yeah. so good. Alright buddy. 
uh, time to move up. On my way. Get that AMS down where those vehicles are going to be. Ooh, man, chances to hit are so glorious. We really got to do something about this heat problem. Even with the exchanger on here, it's just it's just too much. Okay, we'll fire everything. Oh. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. See if we can burn through this guy's side. Three medium lasers. Wow, really bad chance to hit this close even. There you go. That there's a kill. Be interesting to see what that guy had on him. Commander. Because I mean, if he went down after we took his side torso out, he might have an he might have had an XL engine. In which case it might show up in the loot table. In which case that's some good sea bills. Firing all weapons. All right, letting him know we're here. That's interesting. That's interesting. I hear ya. Commencing alpha strike. Uh huh. Is that what that was? Catch you next time. Is Wait that what that it. was? This one doesn't have any weapons. What the heck? Coordinates received. That's interesting. I guess it I guess the vehicles can only go, go. within it. a certain radius of where the vehicles and stuff are. It's interesting. To play that play around with that a little more. Couple points. Waiting Yeah, well, we had to try. Standing by. Roger. Get out them trees. Twenty one percent, huh? Ooh, doesn't matter, we hit anyway. Beautiful. Can't really go all that far anyway. Let's not overheat. Alright, firing these two. Okay, we hit with, with the, hit with the large. Okay, that's nice. Gotta crest that hill. There you go. Roger. Gotta crest the hill. Let's hammer this guy. We got the height advantage. I'm on all, all our uh, thing is jammed here. We might as well throw the Zeus up. I know it's a low chance to hit, but we're gonna do it anyway. Firing. Pairing those sensors. All right, let's do this. Fire. SRMs are gone. That side. I That's all right. This guy does not have any uh, weapons, so I put him further back if we can. Up. What can I do, 
shoot for you. All right, private, let's go. You betcha. Shoot him up. Oh, looked like one of them penned. Yes, Commander. Let's clear that vehicle out of the way if we can. And yep. Yeah, he's panicking. They're panicking. All right, fire. What can I do for you? Got it. Get up here and shoot this guy. Get up here and shoot this guy. Waiting for orders. Point blank range, baby. Hetzer's finally getting some good use. Do we hit him? No, I don't think we hit him. Negative yeah. Give me your war face. Good to go. Coordinates received. Get on this vehicle still. It's got the most amount of weapons. Uh we'll go with these three. Alright, one hit. Vehicle's panicking, so if we keep shooting at him. I'm taking the shot. Well, there he goes. Move her down. Commander. Heading out. Mm-hmm. We got this guy narked, so we're okay. Good chances to hit. Ooh, beautiful. I hear ya. Let's get this convoy out of here. Get ready to bring the dropship down. There it is. Oh, those are enemies. Well, it looks like the bandits might may have hired somebody. Work, Commander. Hold this position until the package is underway. Which is bad for us. Good to go. Means if they got money to hire people, I read you, Commander. Moving out. then they could be more of a threat than we thought. Waiting on you, Commander. We'll get this convoy out of here. We'll deal with this this lance that just dropped in. What do they got here? Urban mech, fireball, fire starter, and a hornet. So not so bad. Standing by. All right, Raider. Uh, full speed over here. Uh, how far can you go? That's not bad. We'll go. That's not bad. We're gonna get you to cool off anyway. Orders. I tag a tail. Yeah, man. As long as this vehicle's on the road, it's not so bad. Let's get some movement going. Get some, get some evasion chevrons happening. Who do we got left? Waiting for orders. All right, private. Take them out of here. Let's get that dropship in. Alright, lift them the frig out of here if you can. Yeah? Yeah? Let's not go too far. We want to keep the AMS on these guys just in case these uh, mechs back here use missiles on them. So, urban mech. Ooh, a lot of point blank energy. RFF1. I wonder what that is. Firestarter looks like a different loadout. Oh, OD. Is that an Omni? I think that's the Omni. Let's fire on the Hornet. We have the best chance. Turn these two off. Get some heat back. Lockdown. 
I suppose that's the myth. What do you nah, we just fire suppression. Don't take it as a miss. Okay, we're just gonna get our missiles going. Five four seven three five four nothing. Let's drop some missiles on this guy. Aye, aye. Engaging target. Little bit of imp. I missed. Yeah, you did. Okay. Ooh. Is that a plasma cannon? Right here. Mm -hmm. Let's get up here. Good to go. Sounds smart. Cooling. These guys just need to wait it out. Yes, Commander. Uh, 14 from there. It's the same from here. So let's get in the trees, get some cover. Twenty-seven, twenty-four, same. Let's go after this guy. He's the closest. I know he's got just the ballistic, but we might be able to pull him down if we get lucky here. Firing a full salvo. Nope. All right, a little bit of damage. I hear ya. A little bit of damage doesn't hurt anybody except for the enemy. Who we got left? Commander. Okay, where did you take that damage? The... How the fuck did we get hit in the rear when we're facing the enemy? That's confusing as... Sh friggin' shiz. Let's move into the trees, get some protection. 21, 21, 19, 21. Let's fire on this guy. Ooh, nice hit. Beautiful. Excellent. Is it just me or do the cinematics seem better in this new version of Rogue Tech? It's probably just me. What are they doing? Okay, it's this guy. Still got his ballistic. It's probably a machine gun. He's was he making a run for it? He's making a run for it. Well, I don't blame you. You did just get hit by an AC twenty. Nobody will blame you if you want to run. Position confirmed. Now this guy's the threat. Let's go with three. Jesus. Gotta hit more than that. I wonder if I should stack my pulse lasers on this guy. Oh, he's retreating too, eh? Oh, that's water. I'm kind of worried about getting too close to that uh, urban mech. Don't think, don't shoot, just run. Ooh, 19. A little better on this guy. Here we go. Okay, narc's on. Nice. Acknowledged. 
All right, let's just straight up go after the guys in the front. Okay, I'm on it. Awaiting orders. Roger that. Victory through superior firepower. Um. Yes, yeah, just go with the improved till it's gone. Oh, see ya. Target neutralized. No short range missiles remaining. Hatcher's angry, gonna chase this fucking guy down. Shoot me in the ass, will ya? Oh. <laughs> okay, he had a fluid gun. I wonder if he's full of fluid guns. He's running. We've broken them. We've broken their morale. That's all right. Let's go get them. Run these bastards down. God, look at the AC chance to hit. It's crazy. A lot better on this guy. I wonder if we could kill him. That's a back shot. Let's try it. Yeah, they're all fluid guns, looks like. <laughs> ah, I had a primitive engine. Oh well. Who's doing what? You coming back or are you going to keep running? He's still running. He just doesn't know where to go. His dropship left him. He's probably mad at the bandits. Standing by. You said this was an easy job. Not today it ain't. Ass. Not today it ain't. This is your last job is what this is. Oof. Guess we're shooting this guy. Copy that. That would be a nice mech to claim if we can get it. Heading out. Stand in the water. It's going to help out. Okay, two hits. Not bad. Still got a lot of armor, though. Yeah. Let's get up here and see if we can get a narc on this guy. That'll help out a bit. Not today. There it goes. Well, that didn't work out. Nope, it nope it didn't. Ooh, not like not liking that Hetzer, huh? Ooh, the Hetzer's panicking. Yes, Commander. Negative damage. Repeat, negative damage. Uh-huh. Alright. Who enemy's going first? Who is it? Firestarter? It is. It's a nice flanking maneuver. I mean, it's not going to help them in any way, but it's a nice flanking maneuver. We're just going to stay in the water. That'll let us shoot everything, I think. That could be a kill shot in this guy. He's only got one flamer left, though. I think we should be targeting this guy. Oh, you had an ERPPC. Nice nice 
I thought it was a plasma cannon, but I guess not. I don't mind the ER PPCs, but the Inner Sphere versions is just not as good, I don't think. It's not worth using them, I don't think. The damage per heat, unless you're like unless you have a mech that's like a, a long range fire support mech, I don't think they're worth it. Yeah, you warm me up, but whatever. Let's see how you like this. Okay, he's unsteady. Yeah. On it. Gonna turn our torso here slightly. Keep going after this guy. No knockdown? Nope. Not panicking either. It's interesting. Let's get into optimal range for the medium lasers. This hit, man, I think it would be nice if we had medium pulses on it. Might want to look at swapping that out. A couple of medium pulses, maybe. Instead of the medium lasers. Instead of the narc, maybe going to a tag or something. That might be good enough you. but if we get uh, endo steel and stuff I should be able to put maybe three um, three medium pulses in it which I think would be nice Damage. come on you bastards oh this guy goes f wait how do they determine we both go on 23. I guess we went last, so they go first. That would make sense. Uh-huh. Nothing says be gone like the roaring the roaring of a nice AC-20. Hammer him! Come on, fall over. Nope. Just finish this guy off, please. Come on. There we go. Target destroyed. I'm listening. Get on this guy. On my way. Here you go. What? I'm gonna have what do you mean, here you go? You didn't give him it. nothing. You didn't give him nothing. Teeing him up I copy. and missing him. Commander. How far can you get over here? Ooh, you can get to a shooting range. Still heating up, but we're gonna do it. Firing on target. There you go. Smoke one. Nice. Now it's just this guy left. Still manages to hit though. Yeah. Well. Roger. You're at the front of the list, so you go first. Hammer him! There you go. That one's gone. All right, let's head back to the base. Mission successful. All right, we got a little bit of an increase in payment, which is basically just you know money that we can loot from the area. Stuff we can trade. All right, let's see what we got here. Uh, actually, not that bad. So the kill the ratios were actually pretty good here. Let's have a look here. 
gear wise. Ooh, two parts of the OD fire starter. We should probably scrounge that, I think. We could pull the fireball off, but what's the point? Pirate Locust. Entire Valkyrie. Pair of LRM 10s. Hmm. Heavy Pirate Heavy Machine Gun. 3 damage times 12. Oof. Very short range. Bonus damage against overheating targets. Recoil of 3. 10% jam chance per shot above 3. Can explode for 50 damage per shot loaded when destroyed. Ouch. Okay. C3 unit comm suite. Um, let's grab that. Oh, look at the endo steel. That's like something we need for everything. Fire control system predator. Wow, they had a lot of great stuff. Fire control system machine gun. Feral fibrous. I should just, I'm going to drop that in for now just to see what else we got here. These are all immediate upgrades. I know we can use these right away. Standard heatsink cooling. So no double heatsink kits, which really sucks. Yeah, we're going to forego the mech parts and go with all this, the scrap here. Because these are like, we can just immediately drop these in our mechs and make them better. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Alright, we got a lot of stuff anyway. Fireball part. We didn't get any of the uh, fire starter parts. Two locust parts. And we got an entire Valkyrie, which isn't bad. Three flamers, a fluid gun. This armor can go right away. Uh, comp suite 175 core we'll hang on to. Hang on, on to, we'll hang on to these guys for now. Basic sensors can go. Basic structure can go. Acid fluid, we might hang on to that. LRM safe. It's only got 90 shots. We're pretty good with that. We got thunder ammo. Maybe we'll try that out in the bushwhacker. Ammo, machine gun tracer. I don't think we're going to go with machine guns, but I'll hold on to it for now just to see. It. Just as I don't know, maybe we'll see. But we've got a lot of options here now with three extra, with three flamers and stuff, and a fluid gun. We've got options. We've got acid here too, which is nice. All right. All right. Well, the dragon's rejects did pretty well. Let's just hop over and see how the night gods are doing. So, um, the Night Gods are moving up along this road here. We, we've we heard that the uh, Warlord, um, who we, we never did manage to find in the main base, managed to um, collect a group of ragtag bandits. And uh, I don't know whether they hired other units or not, but apparently the uh, Dragon's Rejects said they uh, came up against some, some uh, uh, units that were dropped into the battlefield. But we were moving away all along this road here when we got... Uh, hit up by a bunch of mechs here, so we're going to have to wipe them out of the way here um, so we can continue on our way. Now, I'm not sure what the best way to do this is, but um, looks like we've come up behind them here. They were trying to ambush us. Looks like they've... Uh, yeah, you know what? It's... Yeah, they've got, uh, they've got an immunity here so far. So we kind of dropped in behind them here. We're just going to keep reserving. Waiting for the right move. Figure out what they're going to do. Where are we now? We're, at, we're not quite at 16 yet. Okay. They're going on 16. So we've got a Phoenix Hawk, a Locust, another Locust, and a Jenner. All right. Did this guy reserve? No. All right. We're just going to reserve then. They should go on 16 too, I think. This is going to put us in a bad position for next turn, but... This will put us in the uh, good position to get some kills first on this first turn, though. Yeah, so the Dragon's Rejects didn't do too bad in that last battle. Um, we're also getting, uh, ooh, that guy just disappeared. We're also getting some, um, messages from the command. 
that um, they found a storehouse of weapons beneath the base. So hopefully we'll be able to outfit our guys a little better. Good to go. Uh, we're not going to be able to take that guy on. I think we're going to move in this direction and probably engage this Jenner. Roger that. There you are. Um, let's go with the listen kill. All right, a little bit of damage. Might be able to pull this Jenner down fast. Yeah, it's the standard Jenner SRM4 and a bunch of mediums. You better bring it harder than that. Well, we got our vehicle moving. All right, Geekkeeper. Um, let's close this guy. We can. Get a little closer with air at extra dry. Excellent. Oh, we got a shot on this guy too. 33. It's the same, looks like. 52. Yep. Um, let's continue with the Jenner. He's got a half decent loadout, so we can see if we can pull this guy out of the battle here. Nice. Yes, Commander. All right, they might be giants. Let's get in here. Going full throttle. Gonna do my best to try and focus fire everybody in this battle. We've got a lot of enemies to face. Welcome to my album. Beautiful. Good shooting, man. Good shooting. All right, Blade. Now, I think I'm going to switch out this Ultra 10, though, from double shot mode to single shot mode for the first little bit. Ooh, his side's pretty, like, pretty damaged here. Oh! Beautiful. As long as we're hitting those low percentage chances to hit. So I'm thinking, uh, with this battle, uh, we may want to consider um, taking some of these troops as bondsmen. It's a possibility. We can put them in the dragon's uh, rejects. Ooh, that's a re back shot there, but I think we want to go after this guy. He's got two ballistic, missile ballistic. Let's just fire at him. Ah, we got the small ones on him. That's fine. We might be able to burn through his side real fast here. They go on 17 though. We didn't get that hit too hard in uh, initiative, which is a good thing. Got something you want done? Hmm. Bala's got something I want done. She'd just be asking, "What do you need me to do now?" It's always something going on. All right, let's hit him. Dude's got an AMS, eh? That hit something good. Well, he's gonna go before us anyway. See what he does. Phoenix Hawk. Ooh, hit with the large and the medium. Okay, that guy's gotta go down. He's getting to a position where we get him in the back, though. Ow. Fucking machine guns. I'm taking internal damage. Yeah. Commander? Stupid machine guns, that's what it is. Can't get this hawk from behind, huh? Hmm, not the best positioning, but we're taking it. We're gonna take this. Screw you, buddy. We're gonna run hot on this one because I want to do as much damage to this guy's backside as I can. There you go. 
Problem two solved. Ooh, they got vehicles coming up from back there. Are you? Are you really? All right, let's see if we can get in here to shoot this guy in the side and not hit my own guys. Ah, it's not bad. We'll take it. We'll take it. We're going to leave the large off just in case we miss. Fire these two. Locking target. Okay, that looked like a leg shot. I'll take it. We'll take it. Standing by. On the move. Oh, yes. Inflicted some heavy damage. They will be done. All right, we take out this lance. Come on, just bail out. There you go. This just in. Enemy bailout. Gonna move up outside the trees. So we got a better chance to hit. Pot shot this guy from a distance. Copy that. Alright, a little bit. Little bit. Don't know if he's going next or not, but we'll see. So it looks like the leader and possibly another lance left over after this guy's gone. Just gonna walk it up. We'll get our uh, stability back here. Gonna go ahead and pot shot this guy. All right, a little bit of damage. Commander. All right, slingshot. Let's get up here. Hit this guy again. Yeah, so I want to say thank you. I probably haven't mentioned it in this episode yet, because i got to record it in segments, but I want to say thank you to the people that pointed out that uh, in order to see the vehicles in the mech bay, um, we got to go to the upper left of the mech bay. There's a little button there you can switch back and forth between seeing them. So that's extremely helpful. Also, the people that pointed out that the uh, case in the bushwhacker um, in the left torso wasn't actually doing anything, but after this this episode that's going to be changed because I fixed it. Um, I just fire all three. Affirmative. Uh, I fixed that because we were able to uh, drop more ammo in that thing. Uh, I did some modifications to it so um, it's actually loaded out a lot better now and the case actually does something but that's that was the stock mech that's how it came right I didn't change anything on that one so other than I think putting a little bit of electronics in it um, so yeah, whoever designed that mech originally um, made the errors, or, or maybe that's just the way the stock mech is actually loaded out and they just did it that way to, I don't know what, to reflect that I guess? I don't know. Uh, we got lots of SRM, so let's shred this guy. Come on, bail out buddy. You know you can't do anything. Your friends aren't coming. He's panicking anyway. Orders. All right, Blade. Not worried about that locust now. We're gonna hit him with LRMs as we're moving up. Receiving you. Just gonna bypass him. Do that. Get our stability back, and then we'll just hit this guy. 
Uh, we're going to switch out the listen kill to standard, though. Actually, let's just hit him with the um, lasers. Beautiful. Mech destroyed. Might as well save ammo. I keep forgetting, I, I got two tons of LRM ammo in there, but it's technically an LRM-20 the thing has, so... It uses a lot of ammo. Alright, let's get some fire suppression on that guy up there. Moving to position. Ooh, wasp lamb. Interesting. Take a pot shot. Taking the shot. That looked good to me. My life is now devoid of meaning. <laughs> is it? So is mine. Be nice if we could pick up that wasp lamb. Let's push the road. You got the most armor, so let's get up front here. I live to serve. Uh, let's get a f bit of f keep the uh, keep moving forward, but we'll get some fire suppression on that guy up on the hill. Use a large laser on him. Twelve percent. Ooh, nice hit. Receiving you. Let's get on this vehicle. Affirmative. I think it's going to be a lot better chance to hit against the vehicle than it will be against the. Uh, what do we got here? Fifteen. Six point nine. Yeah, let's just target the vehicle. We got this guy in the torso. That's nice. Could get a kill on him if we get lucky. Nope. Yep. Nice. This Lance is hitting a lot of low percentage chances to hit, which I like. Well, below 50%. The 30% chances we're getting above average hits on, which I'm liking. At least it seems that way. Okay. This guy's coming in. Minimal damage on that hit. What's up, boss? Let's get into here, see if we can direct fire this guy. I don't know how much damage we'll do to him if we're able to even hit him. Yeah, barely, not a, like almost nothing here. Even worse against this guy, huh? All right, let's just fire the lasers at this guy. Confirmed. Wasn't expecting a hit, but oh, we got somebody else back here. Looks like an urban mech. No joy. Mobile turret. Okay. That doesn't sound good. To me, that's like a... I'm going to destroy you if you get close to me, mech. Let's see if we can kill this vehicle. I don't know if they've only got two in this second lance here. They might only have two. Uh, we got lots of ammo, so let's go all out on this guy. Got the tag on, that's good. Okay, we've all gone. How many did we get? One. Well, it's fine. Waiting for orders. Okay, vehicle suppression. This guy's still crazy hard to hit. Yeah. We'll see what he does. I don't know if he's gonna like. Was that LRM-15 streak I saw in that thing? Well, we might be able to make this guy bail out. Okay, everybody on the vehicle. Forget the lamb for now. Everybody on the vehicle. We want to make see if we can get this guy to bail out. I like to get that LRM-15 streak. But that's actually what's in here. No, L L uh, sorry, SRM-2 streaks. LRM-15, though. Alright, this is fire. All three hit. Beautiful. Keep applying that damage. We do have a chance to hit that guy at the back, but I think that's the boss, and I don't want to shoot him just yet. All I need is him to want to bug out. Alright, this is part of standard ammo with this guy. Both lasers hit. Nice. Oh, he's gone. He bailed out. 
Destroy the tech, let's get out of here. Alright, we're starting to heat up. But that's actually pretty good chances to hit for this guy, so we'll take it. Okay, not bad. Oh, head hit. Beautiful. And we added some heat to him. Oh, that mobile turret's moving full speed. Yeah, it was only two. That's good. So we'll be able to finish this guy's... Uh, this warlord's forces up. And we'll be able to control this area. I mean, it's not the best area in the world, but... Uh, at least we'll have a base on the ground that we can operate from. I want to do a lot of trading, too. We do have merchants and stuff with us, so... If we can trade a lot... With locals... And, uh... Gain the favor of the locals, we can then, uh... Get, get more information from them than, uh... If we just try to subjugate. I get you. Win right. their hearts and minds, so to speak. All right, let's get on this guy. Firing a full salvo. Solid connection on that one. Not bailing out, huh? I'm here. Onward. I have no idea what that urban mech got on him. Punching all the buttons. Well, heating him up still. What do you think, Blade? Let's get down into here. Get a bit of cover from the Irby and not shoot our own guy in the back. Okay, got a small laser on him. He's stressed out. Let's make him just a little bit more stressed. I think we'll leave this guy off. Now we'll leave these two off. This one's got a better chance to hit. Just go this route. Come on, there you go. All right, just the main guy left. So if anybody's wondering, this is, this was a one skull mission. The uh, last two missions with the uh, Dragon's Rejects were Half Skull. So I'm probably going to be jumping to One Skull for most of these now. Um, maybe one and a half. We'll just see how it goes. At least now that we know that it's a an urban mech here. Um, I know that he can't actually run away from us. <laughs> so if he tries to flee, he's not going anywhere. Energy and missile. Okay, we got the tag on. That really scares me. Aye, aye. Copy that. I don't know. Not going to get much closer than this, I don't think. We may have to shoot him from a distance. Because I really don't trust this. Reporting negative damage. I'm ready. All right, let's just shoot him with the meat. Well, let's just shoot him with the large. Drop some heat. Ah, all right. I don't know what's better. One one shot at 30% or two shots at 15. Okay, he's in range. You don't tempt fate. Oh, that's down below. Ah, I was wondering why I couldn't get there. Um, I'm already there. I like to burrow through this side, where his missile launchers are, because if he's got a half-decent ballistic weapon, we may want to take that. Um, let's use up the rest of the LK. We got two more turns of firing. Confirmed. 
Okay, soften them up a little bit. Ready for orders. All right, blades, get up here. Oops, I thought that was up higher. That's my bad. All right, firing. Um, let's go double. Ooh, we got... They Did they both hit or just one hit? Looked like they both I'm hit. All right, let's get them all on this guy. Whoa, crap. What the what? What the what? The what? Might be pushing it by getting this close. But let's get all this stuff on him. Take that arm, maybe. Nope. Okay, he's turned his side. I wonder what he's got it for a ballistic. The target is retreating, Commander. Oh, he ain't going anywhere. He ain't going anywhere. Time to push this punk. Um... Interesting. Let's see what we can do. Here it comes. Okay. Looked like a couple hits on the leg. I wait your command. I wonder if we can pull this guy's leg. Wonder if it's worth it. That's not bad chances to hit. Not as good this way, but... Let's go with this. Ah, uh, we got the arm. Small blaze fire destroyed. Oh, that was the energy. I thought he had ballistic. I don't know why I, said, I don't know why I thought he had ballistic. Ah, uh, let's just shoot him. I don't think he's got anything we really want, though. If he had the small blaze fire, then he's probably just got the LRM-15 or uh, whatever it is, an MML or something or else other on this thing. So let's just hammer him. Well, Omni XL Gyro. Real? Is this guy an Omni Mech? Cool. Mission successful. Excellent. Well, that should deal with all the Warlords forces. So at least we control this area now. Kid Fox did take some internal. Right, because it got the machine guns on him. I don't know where it hit, though. So we'll have to get the... Uh, it looks like it didn't damage anything internally, but we have to re 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 we're going to have to repair the structure, though, on it. Alright, so the mobile turret, OB, is that an Omni? Because it said Omni Gyro. Unlockable Affinity, Shock Trooper, plus two right arm mounted accuracy, plus one piloting and gunnery, resilience, crit resistance, Plus one defense, stability damage, tuned engine. It's cool that each one's got like affinities now that you can unlock. Scrapper, broadcaster. That really is awesome. We could take a Phoenix Hawk. Two ballistic, three laser. Striker light tank, wasp lamb. I'm going to take the wasp lamb part. Okay, so he had an ATM-12 pirate. That's what he had. Uses LRM, MRM, and SRM ammo. 5% flat jab chance mitigated by gunnery. Recoil of 3. Bolt-on tandem rockets. That's not bad. 
uh, medium lasers, streak twos. Yeah, if they were clan streak twos, maybe, but regular armor, 245 core. Let's take that Artemis fire control system. We're going to take one of those heavy industrial armor. It's nice. Lamb turbines. I wonder if... I'm not going to risk taking these because I don't know if you can... It doesn't say they're restricted to using to lamb mechs, but you may need to have a lamb engine to be able to use them. I'm not sure. If anyone knows, drop it in the comments section. Spa liner is a good possibility as well. I think I might take the three parts to the Phoenix Hawk, though. Artemis LRM ammo. Hmm. I think we're going to need to roll the bones, but I think if we're going to... Ah, man. I mean, we could turn... Ah, I don't know. Like, I could go with the Artemis, the Ferrofibrous... Spall liner. Well, let's roll the bones and see what we get. Let's take the Phoenix Hawk parts right now. Um, just to see what it's like. Um, we're going to need to get a pilot for it though, of course. Well, we do have extra pilots, that's true. Um, okay, a few parts. Tank parts, Streak 2, Streak 4, or SRM 4. Uh, let's get rid of that. I'm going to hang on to the streak for now. Basic armor can go. Regular internal combustion engine can go. Uh, jump jets, we've got nine, so we can get rid of those. Hang on to the lamb turbine. We'll be able to check it out, see if I can actually add to anything. Basic sensors can go. Standard fusion engine can go. Uh, machine gun ammo can go. And streak SRM ammo. Okay, good. Hey, we did get the LRM 15. Okay, that's nice. Can we just drop these guys out of here for now? Oh, we can't drop them from here. Okay. All right, that's not bad. All right, well, that'll be it for today. Uh, we managed to solidify our territory, which is good. Um, we can start bringing some more crew members down. We're going to work on building a um, uh, a proper um, leopard landing pad um, so we can bring our leopards down and uh, trans start transporting things back and forth to the Argo, uh, which we can then uh, move back and forth to our... Um, um, our jump ship and start trading with uh, nearby areas if we can. Uh, we're going to need to start bringing food in and stuff. Maybe we can trade on the surface, I don't know. But any of this surplus stuff that we picked up, we're just going to sell it to the locals and do some trading with the locals to make some money with it. Um, and then hopefully uh, we'll be able to solidify our, uh, our financial situation here and get some economy going. Alright, but uh, we're going to end this episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you did drop a like, if you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And you can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.